the scene through glass. Do you remember the beautiful weather from a couple of days ago? Well, that's gone. It is now officially November in the UK and the awful weather has set in. But anyway, it was just over a week ago that I collected this 911 Carrera T, but today it's gonna be loaded on a boat and headed to Australia. I can now officially reveal that the first destination of Drive the World next year is down under. Put another shrimp on the barbie, boys, I'm coming for ya. That was probably a little bit insulting, but that was my attempt at a sort of Australian accent and impersonation. But anyway, I won't be in Australia until January. However, the car is going now, because it actually takes like five or six weeks to get to Australia by boat. And with the Christmas period and the quite complicated customs procedure, we need to send it quite far in advance so that it gets there in time for me to drive away at the beginning of January. Right now, I'm enjoying this sort of last minute hoon in the car because I've really hardly driven it since I collected it. And now I'm not gonna see it for two months. I kinda wanna get some enjoyment out of it. And then I'm gonna be going to meet up with a transporter from Cars Europe, who I'm hugely excited to announce are the official car logistics partner of Drive the World. And the reason I'm so excited about that is because I did a ton of research into how I was going to move this car around the globe. It was stressing me out. It is pretty complicated, as I'm sure you can imagine. But the more research I did, the more signs I saw pointing towards Cars Europe but really being the best in the business. Whether you want to truck a car around Europe or, like me, ship it to the other side of the world, these guys really know what they're doing. They've got offices in so many different countries and a huge amount of knowledge and expertise. For example, did you know to ship a car to Australia, it needs to be absolutely immaculate? I realize I'm not doing much to help that with today's drive, but apparently the customs department in Oz have really stringent sort of uh, contamination laws and various bits and bobs. So once the car gets transported to Cars HQ later today, they'll do a full steam clean and get all the documentation ready and ensure that it has a as a straightforward process as possible when it gets to Australia so that it's ready for me to start Drive the World at the beginning of next year. So that is why I'm so grateful they've come on board because they have literally removed a lot of stress that I was suffering from. Anyway, so yes, enjoying this drive right now and I'll go and find this transporter to get the car loaded up and begin its journey to Australia. Nuts! tell you how many times I've seen those trucks at like major car or motorsport events and always been super intrigued by what's inside them. I think I've actually probably just lurked by one once seeing what was going to get unloaded. So it feels kind of cool and quite legit that now it's my car that's going to go on one of them. Anyway, let me tell you more about my plans in Australia because the car is going to be headed first to Brisbane. That will be my starting point on I think the 7th or 8th of January. And then from there, essentially, I'm going to be going along the south coast of Australia. So it goes Brisbane to Sydney, Sydney to Melbourne, Melbourne to Adelaide, across the Nullarbor Plain, which I'm not sure if I'll be doing in the 9-11 because plenty of locals have told me it's quite a treacherous journey. Uh, but then I'll be finishing up in Perth. It's just over a month, I think, or maybe just around a month that I'm in Australia. And I'm so excited. I've never been. I've never been down under before. So I'm so excited to explore. If you are based in any of those places, or around any of those places, uh, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth, and you've got an idea of something I should film or some place that I should visit, let me know. Just email me, drive the world at seenthroughglass.com, and in the subject line, in big capital letters, put the city and the country, and then whatever it is that you've got an idea for. So, for example, if you own in a Bath 695 in Melbourne, send an email to drive the world at seenthroughglass.com, and in the subject line, Melbourne, Australia, a Bath 695. But anyway, um, I'm going to sit here now and watch the car get loaded onto this truck and take some photos and 
get emotional about the fact I won't see it again for another two months. And then I'm actually going to be following the truck uh, to Cars HQ because I have to have a meeting there with the guys. But also, uh, as I mentioned, the car will be coming off and getting steam cleaned and all the documentation will be getting done before it gets put into a container and then sent to the boat. So that'll be my chance to give it a, a fun final farewell. Look at it, what a beauty. It is far too cold and miserable to keep filming outside, so I've sought cover, sought refuge, refuge, here inside Cars HQ. And look at this. This is why I'm so happy that I'm doing Drive the World in a Porsche, because the heritage, the history of these cars doing mega round the world sort of trips and rallies is never ending. But it's also another reason why I love cars, because this is their reception area. I mean, it's absolutely nuts. Every time you come here, you can drool over things. Not that many people get to come here, because it's kind of an operational centre. My car's now been unloaded from the transporter, and it'll be going through those kind of final checks that I mentioned, getting that steam clean, all the documentation filled out, before it then goes inside a container, which then gets put on the boat, to Australia. It's so weird because I've spent such little time with that car to be waving goodbye to it now. I'm just a bit like, I do feel sad, but I just feel excited for what's to come. Now, quickly post Australia to explain what's going to be happening after I finish up there in Perth. Um, that will be the end of January or something like that. The car will get back onto another boat. Um, so that's why I'm here meeting with the guys at Cars to arrange that next transit. And whilst it is in transit, I'll be flying on to New Zealand. Um, hold on a sec, where do I go? Yeah, so I go New Zealand, Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Tokyo. And that brings me to the end of March. So all those countries I'll be flying in and out of and borrowing cars locally, because obviously the 911 will be on another boat. So once again, if you're in or around any of those areas, drop me a message, let me know about filming ideas or filming opportunities. I would love to book up as much as possible, as far in advance as possible. Post Tokyo in March time, uh, well, I'll let you know about that at another time, because I would say that those countries are all kind of like locked in, dates are sorted, flights are sorted. After that, there's still a bit of room to play. So yes, anyway. How exciting. The car is now on its way to Australia. Things are getting real, people. Things are getting underway. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.